In this video, we will see how we can work around with cells in Google Colab. So Colab basically has two types of cells, text and code. Text cells are basically formatted using a simple markup language called Markdown. Here is the text cell. Okay. With that, we also have a code cell here. So we have a text cell here. We created it. When I'll double click on it, you can see it's visible here. You can easily use the Markdown codes also. Okay. For example, Okay, I want to bold this. I'll just use double star here and double star here. Here you can see we have bolded it. This is the result. If you want to italize, you can let's say sum. I'll add a single star here and single star here. This will italize the sum only, only the sum word. If you want to strike through, let's say the following sample I'll strike through. I'll use I'll use two curls and the sample is now strike. So this is how we can work around around markdown in a text cell on Google Colab. Okay. Here it is. Now let's say you want to move the cells are following IPYNB. That means our following notebook is having the following codes. Two codes here you can say. With that we also added about these using text. So let's say you want to move the entire cell here above this, above the, on the top that is above the following. So keep the cursor here and click on this to move the cell up. Here it is. We have our cell up here. Okay. I can move it above. Up. I have moved it to the top. With that you can again, uh, let's say I'll, I'll click here again to show you. Okay, now you can see I clicked here and I got an option again. So I'll just click on move cell up here so that we are back with our code. So when I'll click here, you can see sample program to two number should be here because we have added here. So for representation purposes, I'll move cell up and the following is a representation of text as well as code here. Okay, from here in you can get a link to the cell and you can share it. With your friends, I'll copy it. Let's say I'll open it here again. In the same window, you can open it in another window with a new Gmail account. So you can see the entire cell cells got copied. Now you can go here to click on open editor settings. Here you can set the editor font size indentation. We saw it before also. You can also enable line numbers and indentation guides. Okay, you can also then click on cancel or save it if you have done some changes. Click on cancel. If you want to delete a cell, click here. If you want to mirror cell in a tab, you can click here. On the three dots, I'll click. After clicking three dots, you can see you can select a cell, copy this cell, cut this cell, view output in full screen. I'll click on it. So the output is visible here. It's not completely visible here. Here you can see it's in black. Some 30. So I clicked on escape. Now click here again. You can also clear the output. With that, you can right click on any cell and get all these options here again. You can delete a cell, copy, cut a cell. You can also click here the second cell. Sorry, the second cell is the following. Since uh, this is not a code cell, this is a text cell, the following are the options. If you will click on a code cell, right click, you will get more options here. Okay, that is you can link to a cell, you can cut a cell, you can clear the output. Obviously, for code cell, you will be having the following output options also. But for text cells, you will be having only these options. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can work around cells in a Python notebook on Google Colab. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.